Buenos dias guys from Mexico City. Today I'm gonna show you something epic guys. I'm right here in this place right here. Tortas al fuego. And well, this is yesterday's meat guys. So he's getting rid of that. They're gonna use the remains for some tacos and other things over there. And they're gonna put a fresh meat over here. This is all pig meat over here. And well, when they bring it out, we're gonna record all that. And we're gonna try out the food here guys. These are supposed to be some of the best tortas in all of Mexico City, so yeah. Join me. So check it out. He brought the steps here because well the meat is very high up where he's gonna have to put it up. So he's setting up shop now. But well, check it out guys, here's the meat. Más o menos cuántos kilos vamos a poner hoy? 135. 135 y hoy es domingo. Hoy es domingo. Viernes y sábado. Lo mismo. 150. 150. Y antes del COVID. 250. 250. 250. Oh my god. <laughs> so before COVID, guys, they were putting 250 kilos of meat here. Today he's just gonna put 135. So imagine how big this thing used to get. ¿Y esto es guisado con qué? ¿Su, su receta secreta? Esa es secreta. Ok. So my friend over here finishes filling this up after he piles it all up all 135 kilos you gotta wait about 30 minutes for it to cook just the edges because they slice it up throughout the day so we're gonna wait on that to try the fresh meat here Hace falta más carne ya. Esto ya falta como 40 kilos. Faltan 40 kilos. Esto ya vamos más o menos por 90. Ya más de la ajá, más o menos. Y esta parte que estás cortando es para que Esta todo es esté. Ah, oh, bueno, la pones arriba ahora. Esta es para que agarre forma. Ok. Esto. Pues esto es un arte al mismo tiempo. Sí. Es como una escultura aquí que estás preparando. Ajá. Todo tiene su chiste. ¿Ah? Todo tiene su chiste, digo. Sí. So guys, he's um basically now he's just evening things out so that it gets the proper shape. So he's shaving some pieces off. All these pieces are gonna be put here on the top, and then he's gonna add more meat on the top to pile on the weight on that. And we're gonna get this here to 135 kilograms of meat. So he has told me that the biggest in Mexico City is 300 kilograms. Sadly, that place is closed right now. So we're gonna go only up to 135 kilograms, but hey, uh, that's even heavier than me. So it's the señor que la, le pone el sazón. Sí, lo pinta.
piña para que le dé sabor. Para que le dé el sabor el taco. Sin piña no es taco del pastor. Sin piña no es taco del pastor. quitan las partes que están quemadas para las tortas ¿Ah? para las tortas para las tortas sí. oh, esta ya está lista sí, ya. Here's the meat guys from here's the meat from earlier from the machine so he makes the tortas over here with it so we're gonna eat a torta al pastor this is the meat that we've been watching cooking all day guys I'm gonna try it by itself oh man wow it has that crunchy barbecue taste these are the first cuts that come out so they get nice and crispy guys you see that right there a lot of smoky flavor in that very well seasoned pork here Oh man, look at this guys. And then look at the meat. It's time to chow down guys. I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna then I'm gonna try one of the tacos. One of the moments we've been waiting for guys. I've been here for about three hours waiting for this meat to be prepared. Now we get to try it fresh. He added some hot sauce here, some chipotle sauce, as well as some chilies. It's all in here. We got the cheese, the Oaxaca, onions, avocado, tomatoes. Man, this is gonna be delicious. I haven't even tried it yet, but I tried the meat and just all this put together, I already know it's gonna be amazing. But for good measure, we're gonna give that a go. Gracias. This torta came straight out of heaven guys each bite that I'm getting here is delicious the chipotle sauce he added kind of has the barbecue taste the meat is fresh and hot it just came out we got all these vegetables in there 
just collaborating. Each guy is putting in his little grain of sand there to build this perfect torta that we have over here, guys. Man, I, I don't know what I need to say, guys. You guys just need to come here and try this because this is a sandwich like no other. A Mexican sandwich, a torta. So I went and ordered another juice, guys. I've been here for a while and it's hot. Here we have the papaya. And it's as refreshing as it looks. Excellent, gracias, hermano. Check it out, guys. The original tacos al pastor. We've been seeing this meat cooking the whole time. One time for my man over there, guys. I was impressive with the pineapple. I like it. I like it. But now it's time for the moment we've been waiting for, guys. Time to try out these tacos al pastor, guys. This looks phenomenal. You get a big chunk of pineapple there. Salsa verde, muchísimas gracias. You know, it, it ain't Mexico without something hot there. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do something, guys. We're gonna first try it out as is, and then we're gonna try it out with the sauce. Let's do it. Look at this beautiful, authentic little guy. Oh my! Oh my God! From now on, if my tacos don't have this pineapple in it, I don't want it. It is a game-changing ingredient. Mm. Next up, guys, let's try with the Mexican green sauce here. Put that all over. It's gonna be interesting how the hot sauce goes with the sweet pineapple. Because I might say, I must say, these are some of the sweetest pineapples I've ever had. Some lime juice there, get that vitamin C, and time to go in. That was absolutely phenomenal. The spice taste takes over though. So for personal taste, I prefer without the sauce. Just because of the sweetness that those pineapples give it, it just, it takes it all the way up. And then when you put the spice on it, it kind of calms and things come in at a medium. So up to you how you want it. Uh, the grand total is 215 pesos. That's basically $11 USD. That's right, $11 USD for three big tortas, two tacos al pastor, and the two big juices. That's a bargain, guys. This is Mexico City. Hermano, muchísimas gracias. Delicioso taco, lo mejor que he comido. Y tiene razón, con la pinita eh, es todo ahí. Le hace saborcito sabroso. Muchas gracias, hermano. Delicioso. That's gonna wrap up this video, guys. Delicious food over here in Mexico City. You guys have to try those tortas and those tacos. I recommend you come. Right now, it is, what, like, one o'clock. So I think if you come at 12.30, it's the ideal time. The meat is just nice and ready and fresh. And, well, you're going to get the first bites of it, which I think are some of the best. That's it from Mexico City, guys. What are these dolls? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, that's it, guys. Going to catch you guys on the next one.